Peace, peace, peace. Let me put this up real quick. This is politics as usual with your boy Juice Wanna. Old York Gritty. Don't forget to check out Street Scale Z, Knock Them Out the Box, which is a book that I've released. As well as going to some junkie apparels to lend your support for the channel. I do not ask for people just to send in just for me doing this show. Pardon me. All right, had to drink some water. And I had a little fire truck coming by. All right. So in this show, I really just wanted to kick it with you about what we had already went through. So I don't want to keep moving forward without doing recaps. You know what I mean? Because it's like I understand the people who've been following. But just in case anybody else um comes across this information they might come across this part so in order for them to have catch-ups this would just be easier all right so we're going to just be talking about you know hypnosis as well as animal magnetism aka mesmerism right so with this we understand that as we went through with that the system that you now know as psychology came from the system of hypnotism and mesmerism. You know, basically the con artists. You know, so this is where, you know, we go in and we'll just basically like, you know, we go into a time frame. So this goes back to, let's say, you know, the 1700s, you know, even though that this system is older than that, we're just saying the modern formation of it starts into like the 1700s, right? And the way that you know it today, it really, pro I would say the 1500s, you know, um, but... For the sake of argument, we're going to say what you know today, we're going to place in the 1700s, all right? So with this information, we also have, hold on, let me make sure that my clock is running, all right? Hold on. So with this information, you have witnessed the transformation, the hustle of two teams you know, the hypnotic team and the, and the mesmerizing team, you know, basically argue their stance on manipulation because <laughs> that's what it's all about. It's all about being inside of the head of the person. And it says that, you know, 10% of the people are highly successful, meaning that there's nothing, you know, um, they can do to avoid it because they just want to be accepted, right? Then you have a uh, 10% where you can place myself in, which is highly unlikely to be hypnotized and that's only due to the fact of our level of awareness you know and um so to for us they they came up with you know the crowd meaning that the masses is going to alienate you because the 80 percent of them is already following that doctrine you know, so we have been going across these, this timeline of, you know, the people who you should be looking at, you know. 
So, you know, we went into, you know, magnetizers, which is, you know, the people who went from Mesmer, which is where you get mesmerizing from. And, you know, they took this animal magnetism belief. And so he was running around with magnets putting over the body and saying that this was how you was able to perform these things. So then we had another side of the argument and it was basically, you know, hypnotism that said, no, you did not need these outside entities in order to control the people because it's based on suggestion. You understand what I'm saying? So because so many people want to be accepted, if you put a person in a situation Right, and I use. I haven't said it so far, but I, I'm gonna um, explain how I use Tony Montana Scarface in this reference. You know, if you look at the movie, you will see certain things. You know, so I'm a um, I'm gonna get into that, and this is how the mass brainwash went on and then and they how they put it in you know the songs and videos and everything else as the um hypnotic suggestion because you took the worst person in the movie the literal flunky from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie he has he never reached any standards you know even when it came down to his homeboy marrying his sister he didn't even know where <laughs> Manny lived <laughs> you know what I mean so you know we're gonna get into all of that but the point that I'm making is we have a system that's working together, but playing both sides of the street. So they're acting like they're arguing amongst each other. And then you have a third party come in and basically distract you from that. So say you bring in Satanism and these areas that can be your new talking point. So you're basically pushing the people away from one conversation because you're adding a new element that they had already installed into it. Right? So you have a system that's attacking you in all aspects of your life. And they're studying you. They're putting you in these situations in order to see the results. That's ill. You know, that's ill to set up a system like that. But mind you, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. We haven't even touched the religious aspect of it to see the, the Satanism and all of those type of things. We haven't even touched that part yet. We are still just in their lap. You understand what I'm saying? This is them doing the research and the studying. So I'm showing you them watching us you know like what jay-z said i'm watching you watching me um what is it was i think it was like streets is watching i'm watching i'm watching you watch me you know what i mean so while you was watching me i was sitting back and <laughs> watching too <laughs> let me drink some water real quick you know i gotta drink my water and orange juice or any um, citrus. <sighs> yeah, so 
part of me. So with that being said is how we come to the situations that we are in. Because we allowed the invader to not only invade and study, but then also use our natural natures against ourselves. And then install it into the lie. So take your truth and install it into a lie to control you. That's where you get psychology or reverse psychology, which in most of the time it is. Right? When you look in at, you know, the the um the T V ads and the commercials, those are already studies that was done on you. So they know, you know, the color schemes. And that's why I tell people, you know, who deal with the woke community and the chakras and all of those color schemes, you better understand the psychological impact that is placing on you. It's telling you these colors mean something. It's telling you what it means. So it's planting in your brain certain things. And since hypnotism and mesmerism works off of suggestion, you are not even aware of the times when the suggestions are offered to you. Because there's different styles of suggestion. And so when you have the invaders, right, inside your brain, where do you go then? When they've attached themselves like, um, what do you call it, like parasites to your every waking moment. I mentioned waking moment because, right, they determine what is a hypnotic state by if it differs from your normal waking state, right? But they also tell you that hypnotism can be short or long or long term. So when would be your natural state if you have never been able to be in your natural state? You are not even able to be mad at your enslaver. <laughs> you got people within your own who will tell you you were wrong for that. So when are you in your natural state? Right. If they already attached themselves to so many things. When are you in your natural state? You got to ask yourself that you got to say, damn. If everything that they've installed to me is a lie. Right. And so my movement on the planet is based on these belief systems. When are you ever naturally you? F. If all the music that you play tells you be mad at the person next to you, but not mad at the person who put y'all in the situation, your music, your TV, the people around you, your pastor, the, you, you understand what I'm saying? If everything around you. Even down to your parents, oh, that person beat you up, you better go do this. But when the cops or, or these people know you don't do these things, 
When are you in your natural state? Because Hypnosis is saying that it's taking you out of a natural state and putting you in a new state, right? But if you have never been in your natural state, then what the hypnotic spell is actually doing is opening the opportunity that was placed inside of you from when you were first placed into your hypnotic spell. If that makes sense. Right? So you in your hypnotic spell based on the environments that you in, whether it be your religious Right. Because say if you go to a new religion, then all of a sudden that's called a cult. Right. Without understanding that where you where you was indoctrinated into was a cult anyway. So you misinform your own brain, right, through the misinformation of those around you. Because they are in one, but they thinking that this is any different. So only when you are pursuing a new one is when you're considered under this trance or spell, I mean, to the people around you. But they don't realize that they're in it too. So when are you in your natural state? If you are not aware of the con, you are never in your natural waking state because the con has you controlled in whatever area that you are in at that moment. And they know that. Right. So as we go on, I'm I'm keep showing you, I'm giving you the simplistic side. Like we went through the reading and all of that and the big words and the jargons and all of that. I'm giving it to you. In a regular way, like everyday life. So that way it doesn't have to be this new trick. Because the new trick is throwing the big words on it. That's the trick. That's why when you see the Freemasons, they always holding the book or looking. Because they acting with a sense of superiority because they have the time to know this information while your time was spent just trying to survive. So you was already caught in the maze, the mesmerism, right? Seeing the Jay-Z's and the um, whoever's, not to even put Jay-Z in there. I'm sorry if you even mentioning him, but... Um, just anybody, you understand what I'm saying? Anybody on that stage, anybody with certain things that you are mesmerized by. So mesmerism and hypnotism, what's the difference? This is the difference, right? Mesmerism is showmanship, right? Mesmerism is three-card Monty. 
Mesmerism is David Blaine. Mesmerism is the dude with the gold chain in the in the BMW and you deciding you want to be that because you're mesmerized by the shiny things. Now, when we talk about hypnotism, because mesmerism is, you know, the music, the glitz, the glamour, right? That's all under mesmerism for me, from my understanding, right? Whereas hypnotism is the, the classations, you know, the, um, the the advancement in certain things, the big words, the 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 business aspect, right? You hypnotize, and so now you are easily controlled within that system, in order for you to feel a sense of advancement. Right. So then you act other than yourself. That's when we can take a look at. Um, Will Smith. Right. So when we look at Will Smith and we see that Jada Pickett, you know, she's the handler. She's the operator. You know what I mean? She already was putting him in a certain stance because you got to remember now a lot of people do not realize that Freemasonry is, I already showed you, it's the gathering of information, especially the stuff that you don't want to be known. So imagine, <laughs> right, you're supposed to be in a lodge, right, and you're supposed to keep these secrets, but you pillow talking, Right. So now that you have pillow talked about the lodge, the sword, who owns the sword? Got your nuts by a bind. Right. If you if you got dirty, deep secrets, then that person, because you're supposed to share everything, has those secrets. Now they can take those secrets. I showed you with the postcards. You know what I mean? I showed you with the postcards. You know, I explained to you the the um the keystone. You know, when the, when you have an arch, you know, when the keystone holds, you know, the arch together. Right. And I showed you the hypnotism with that, you know, in shows even down to Sopranos. Right. So with this information, you understand that there's a system that has tricked you into Given everything because of your weakness. Now you also aided and abetted with the removal of anybody who would have normally called you out for, you know, your, um, your baitiness. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because of your baitiness, you know, you aided and abetted. You know, a lot of them, you know, inside there, 
you know, it, it, it was the, um, the broken wrist movement. And I'm going to just say the smashing keyboards, you know, that crew, you know what I mean? So, um, with that being out there and you have, you know, the, um, the ciphers, you know, which I'm going to go back into again, and you have this way of talking to cause confusion, right? And since, these are the people that's on the outs and those who want to dictate and hold you based on this talk, right? You become subservient to that. Your fears, everything is implanted because they told you they have the power, Right. And then you have shills, which we just um covered, which is the people in the background, those people that's right there. That's really down with that system. You understand what I'm saying? So if that makes sense to you, understanding that. There's a takeover. Right. We're going to get into the takeover. Right. We understand that there's a mad scientist. Right. And that mad scientist utilizes these people. To perform his studies. So say the mad scientist is studying crowd control. Right. And what what makes a crowd do a crowd. Right. And so then they cause these situations just so they can study and see what the people would do based on. And so with that, they also install. This is why when the Travis Scott um, concert happened, I, I looked at that as people setting him up. I'm just being honest. Like a lot of times when you see certain things, it just be looking off. You know what I mean? And when you're trying to force the people in, you're trying to, to especially our people, right? Meaning that if y'all going to be out here, y'all got to be at war. You You see the promotion of, you know, you look in the movies and you see this negative promotion on the women, right? And I don't mean, you know, necessarily prostitution and shaking booty. I mean, down to even being drug dealers, busting guns and robberies. And so then when you look at the news and you see this growing trend, You you understand suggestion because that's what they tell you hypnotism is in mesmerism, right? Suggestion, the number one thing. So my thing is to show you the suggestion, the word. Right, because they always tell you this missing word, even when you deal with um, what do you call them, um, the Torah and all of that. This this word that was missing, right? When you when you when you when you talk about Hiram, which is just a place where Jesus is buried, right? Which would be Julius Caesar. So, just finding the word Hiram. Right. Find that word. Right. Understand, you know, through time, the variation of the word. We covered this. You understand what I'm saying? So and we're going to go this again because that's in a whole different section. So inside of this, understanding this, this way of communicating to one another, but hijacked a system. That controls the brain. So right now, the men are being put 
especially in the U.S. and in other places, placed on a a leash, a mental leash. And their help is the undercovers who co-sign it. If that makes sense to you. Those who, the shields, we covered the shields, right? So you got to, you know, uh, um, something you promoting, right? And then you have a group of people who co-sign it without you knowing that they are actually a part of that group. And that's how you get the suggestion, the power of three. Right, because the power of three is, I told you this too, right? You have a po- a person who is agreeable to everything. So he's gullible, right? You have a person who's on the fence. Like he doesn't really go with or go against things, right? Then you have a person who never goes with shit. I'm that type of person, right? Naturally, right? So the power of three would be you bring in an outsider, right? He say the snake or your salesman. He's trying to move the product, right? You have an outsider who's coming in to make the sale. You have these three personalities inside of a large group of people, right? And these personalities are known throughout this community. It's like these individuals are known for their personality traits, right? So, you know, grumpy smurf and you know what I mean? It's like, imagine that. So imagine, you know, um, somebody smurf at, you know, which was made by Gargamel, right? Comes into there. If grumpy, Agrees with her being there because remember, gullible is gonna just go with it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She cool. Come on, right? You got the middle dude. He's gonna be like, I don't know where you came from. You can ask questions, like you know, I yeah, I hear that, but he's just always gonna, you know, I'm saying that be cool, but still never, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like something is complete. You understand what I'm saying? Like so, it's always questions asking, right? And then you have the person that's not. There's something wrong with this person. You understand what I'm saying? If you can get the person who's always against it, questioning it, and then going with it, you have a 80% chance of success. So... Imagine these personalities going into a lodge, right? And so this is a part of their deal. You co-sign, you, 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 right? Because these are the things that it tells you within the lodge, right? You're supposed to come to your brother's aid at no point, at a, right? It doesn't necessarily mean you know, in a harm and murderous way, because it could just be with the power of suggestion. It could simply just be the power of suggestion. No more, no less. But the power of suggestion came from those shields. So imagine you got a system 
that's designed to hold you in a certain mental bind. They get in you, training you into colors and, right? These things, the new set, the new way things are going. When they tell you that, you know, time doesn't exist is because they going to switch the calendars back on you. <laughs> when that happens, then you're going to be like, oh, sweat, yo, he was right. <laughs> they were already setting it up because when you go to the buildings, right, when you go to especially Masonic buildings, look at the dates on them. Look at the dates on those buildings. They're planning to switch the time on you. Because the people are so gullible within themselves that they can do it. It's a trickle down effect. If that makes sense, a trickle down. You have a mad scientist with a scheme. You have a, a meeting place, you know, um, conversation, we can call it Bohemian Grove, right? So you have these meetings with these people. I showed you through the time the, the the different people who was having these going to these meetings, whether it was, you know, in France or um um Germany or anywhere else. It was always, you know, these meetings. So America, whatever you whatever you wanna put it on. Pardon me, I'm over here looking at something real quick. Um Yeah, so um, you and what was I just saying? I'm for um, what was I just saying? I know we were just talking about this trance and whatnot. Um, the lie that's you know basically you know put on you. Right, so you have a, a language inside of a language. Now, I know we passed it. I'm damn, I blanked out here real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me drink some water. All right, all right. So this bind that's being put on you, right, is by these people in the crowd always did. You know, you got, um, you know, before you can, like, even think about it like this. You got, uh, you got layers, right? So... In Freemason, you got an instant apprentice, you, right? So you go all the way up to a master before you can actually wear symbols, right? So those other times that you were there, you were doing the other job. You was the shield. First, you out there as this first. And as you doing that, you also, you know, get the little crew under you and you build. So you learn how to be in these same positions yourself. But little do any of them realize they are still working. Pardon me here. You know, little do they realize that they are still working. For a system that's bigger than them. And what this system is for is so ill. 
Like I said, we also discussed about the body snatches. I just told you this was a mad scientist. A mad scientist needing to find certain things out. And so you have a whole group of them wanting to to run samples and tests on certain things. So while you causing the confusion, inside that confusion, you're providing the specimens, if that makes sense, right? So while you causing the confusion, you are providing the specimens. That's what the shill is doing. Right? And so we only cover that part of, you know, a small part of the criminal aspect, meaning that, yeah, it's a, it's taking in these individuals, right? Because the other part, the other half, the good side, they are the ones who's just going to keep, you know, going into whatever. So we got one side that's for all of the um space taking up. Right? And so we can use them as our, you know, um guinea pigs and for any anything that we want. So that's why when I point out the fact of Snowfall and CIA and M- MK Ultra and all of that. Yes, these have been done on us, and you just overlooking it. It hasn't stopped. You just give things new names. Right. You went from mesmerism to hypnosis to psychology to right. You went from philosophizing to being all up inside people's brains. The devil is telling you how to live on both sides. He's telling you how to live to get it, all of the grimy stuff you got to do to get it, to get it. And then he's making you want to get it because how he shows you this side is living or supposed to be living. Telling lies to your vision. Tricking your audio Receptors. So even when somebody walk up to you and say, do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? (laughs) That's supposed to automatically put you in a certain mindset. Seeing the Mormons come by with the bikes and the... (laughs) The white t shirts and the uh um, and the, and the I mean the white um button up shirts and the in the in the um <laughs> in the Bible head. You supposed to automatically see the pilgrim as something else. Non threatening. The same way how they came in and did the Indians the first time. Now Hey, I can invade through this way right here. I got the brain. They don't read, and all I got to do is tell them what it says. I can almost guarantee you, you know, very little people who've actually read the Bible. I mean, read it like page for page. Even the bullshit, the little numbers and all of that that you don't even care about, you just read it anyway, right?
You see what I'm saying? So when you have a system that's already set up in your head, I mean, they've already set up the imagery. They set up classations. They, they put it there. Then we talked about Marxism and all of these different ways of trying to reinvent the wheel. With this so-called theory, but while you are engaging in that theory, what are you giving up in order for them? <laughs> To get you to do it. The shills and all of that. All of the people. Because remember. They've been setting this up for years. I remember somebody asking me. Um, did I believe in communism? I mean not believe in it. But did I support it? I was like hell no. Right. So he was like wait. But um, he said do you support the Black Panthers? I said hell yeah. He said, um, but do you know that the Black Panthers was, you know, a communist movement? I said, yes, I do. Right. So he says. So he was basically what he said next. He said, did I. um, Did I believe so? Did I. It was something like, did I support the Black Panthers? And I said, I supported them as what they wanted who they allied with in an attempt to get it no i don't support that why because when you look at the end result of that movement right they you know once again we're talking about suggestion and the number one thing is the pointing right so they love to point at this Pardon me, right? They love to point at this um what do you call it? Um at this this accomplishments. Oh, they started this, they started these programs, right? And so my question is, is if not for the funding, right, if it was not for the funding through this, this system, what happened to that system? That's what my question is always. What happened to that system? Because once they pulled out of the system, the system collapses. It's a Ponzi scheme, right? It's the same thing when we look at um, BLM, how they'll tell you how old they taken the money and, right? Once, now unless they put in that money aside for whenever need be, which I would hope they doing. I don't got a problem with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. But here's the thing. If the funding is basically some tossing and wants that stop, everything that you see was really just a, a, a test. If that makes sense to you, I don't know if that makes sense. Like you only pointing in the direction of something because you believe all of the greatness that came out of it, but it was just a blanket. It was just a front. To give the people something to grab on to. While the people, the scapegoats, right? All of that whole movement was the scapegoats, right? Now, while the, 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 um, you, you, you throw the scapegoats out there. They know, right? They go through all of these trials and errors, but the people that's going through the trials and errors is your people, and you see the fight, and so you embrace that. 
Because all of those things are commendable. It still doesn't make it any less of a fact that they were foolish for signing up with these same people as well. It doesn't change that fact one bit. That's just if you looking at it in a realistic way of, pardon me here, of not wanting to just belong, right? You know, just like any religion or, or belief system, to truly critically evaluate it, look at it for its totality, not just the moment in time, but the aftermath as well. Oh, pardon me, I'm going to be about to eat some chicken <laughs> sandwich, right? So when you look at the long haul, when we study this for the long haul, when we look back and go, oh, it's the same hustle. The side that's going to enslave you is financing you to get there. You're fighting to live like China. <laughs> I'm fighting to live like this without the oppressor in control. Two different things. I don't have no problem with the police force. I have a problem with those who can hide behind a badge simply because nobody can question what the profession is. Right. It's deep, dark roots is just like how we dealing with Freemasonry. So the system of understanding that if you take something and the yeah, the system of it only being put on the people that you're putting in that position while making excuses for all of the other people who do it because of they can pay it off. While these people have to pay for it in time and flesh. That's what my beef is. You understand what I'm saying? My beef is that. With that system, because I can go through, you know, the education system and the falsified information that lies in that. Teaching our children, sure. Being mad of critical race theory simply because it's pointing out this system. Like, how could I agree with that? Because if it was in reverse, I would be. I uh, personally, I don't. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't be around in a reverse side, um situation. Because I'm not here to reverse the situation. I'm here to end the situation. Two different things. Meaning that everybody walk away from this bullshit. I'm not trying to do like how the smash keyboard community is attempting to do use it to enslave you and you don't have no wins because it's payback. That's what I heard somebody saying yesterday. I believe it was um, on the star report, you know, you know what I'm saying? He called in and it was like, yeah, it's our turn, you know, boom, boom. Cause you're saying like, is the straight community being bullied? And you know, the, you know, he called one dude called up and this is what he is saying. Like, yeah, well, you know, y'all did it for this long, you know, this is, you know, cause he basically revealing 
that they are doing it. He hasn't revealed the tactic. I'm revealing the tactic, but he's admitting that it is being used <laughs> without knowing. You know what I mean? So this is where my fight comes in. My fight is that. My fight is ending the bullshit. So through the course, we will be getting to who these culprits are. And I'm not just talking about um the tools. Because everybody I'm naming are just the tools. I'm talking about the big players, the financiers, the the religious aspects, which is the mental, the whole thing, and the the little soldiers. That's what I'm doing. I'm here to reveal that. I'm not here for nothing else. Like, I'm not here to reverse things. I'm not trying to get revenge. I want it to end. Now, in that, we have to accept that those who's doing it, they're not going to want. Listen, the system you see taking over the day was the system that brought in all of the chaos of the late 80s to the late 90s. That 10 years. And really, like, I want to say 15 years of straight chaos within our community. Because I'm going to say 30. Fuck that. Because you got the 80s, the mid 80s, right? So 85, let's say 85 to 95. So 20 years. I'm going to give it 20 years of all of the chaos that was brought was brought in order to see this quote unquote new world order. Right? So we, we, we go back to when George Bush, when did George Bush say it? He said, yo, we are under a new world order. Right? So when you look at that system and what it brought about, it only way it had to come about was the removal of all of these old mindsets. So when you saw the Me Too movements, look at Johnny Depp. You think that, you think she wasn't lying? She knew the system. She just happened to be caught on tape. You see the difference? She wasn't lying. She was telling the honest truth. It's just that, hey. It ain't going to probably most likely help you due to the fact that you said it. You wasn't supposed to say it. You got too cocky and you revealed the secret. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you got to think that whole time. Oh, this is a woman stayed. Oh, and this is everywhere. Yo, anybody. Right. And then you look at the, um, the change of finances, even whether it be the religious aspects through suing Christianity to get that money to start up the satanic church. But they went inside there doing the damage, right? If Christianity is about not being those ways, then that meant that those people who went in there, went in there already with a grudge. So while you blaming one system, the real system that went in there is taking the money and building their empire from the robbery, from violating the people, stealing them from that system and still making the system pay for it because the system couldn't protect them. 
because the system called it on to God and their thing was challenging that God. And in challenging that God, they challenged your mind. And so their God, which was wicked, you went to. Because clearly that had to be right. Or the wickedness would have not happened to me. You see, so they went into these these um good places and they corrupted it. And then told you to forgive them. And then let them start preaching and changing the laws. Because you didn't read. They read it to you. You was going there for the singing, the dancing, and, you know, colorful hats. Well, they was doing stuff to get the pastors to change the laws. And then once they changed the laws and they and they attacked the church enough, then they introduced their system, woke, and all of that. And so as you watching one system start to dwindle away and you see another one starting to grow, understand how it has taken place. So understanding that you would understand how much damage had to been done in order for you to get to this level. Subservient gay men. Their fight is right here, so they become the 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 fighters like this imagery, right? Protecting the hive. The queen bee. Because it's a new system. a new system that's why back in the days you had the what is it like the Salem witch hunt because these are the same so-called witches you see today that's why I said with um which is name Chris Rock in um the movie the witches bald head witches And in that same incident, right, he making a movie about the bald head witches having a beef with Jada Pickett. And next thing you know, her little bee, which he probably got that dark secret. He probably, you know what I mean? And so he has to, in order, in, in order to try to sustain his image, he was under the impression that this is what he needed to do, while at the same time it was destroying him. You know? You know, so with that, so with that, I'm laughing because <laughs> I made a post, right? You know, in the post I said, what happened to all the stupid question asking posts? Because, like, my timeline, you know, be like grown ass people just putting memes of foolishness. And I'm like, oh, you know, so I got at them and I like for like about a month, I just was bombing them. So now everything is like, like, damn, <laughs> you know, he, he, he crushed all of that stuff. So now nobody <laughs> wants to post the stupid post. So, uh, somebody asked, um, is the earth flat or round? <laughs> So 
Show me a flat object in space. Show me any naturally flat object. I'll wait. Right? In nature, you show me, you know, I'm, not, I'm talking about um um solid structures, not um physical matter, like you know, humans and animals and stuff and plants. I'm saying nature, right? So even trees grow round. <laughs> Circular, you know what I mean? Show me. Something in space, right? Show me any planet, show me anything that is not fear, right? Circle is shaped. And then we can even begin to have that conversation. You know, first you got to show me that. Until you can show me that, Then the whole conversation is null and void. Because I'm pretty sure you've seen pictures from Hubble Telescope and this, that, and the third, right? I'm pretty sure you haven't seen nothing flat out there yet. So if you're asking me (laughs) that question, I'm asking you to provide me something flat first, and then we can have that conversation. But until you could provide that <laughs> nervous round asshole. You understand what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, I can't even have... Yo, as far as I'm concerned, we can't even have that conversation, right? I'm just, I'm happy that my show, you know, um, just came in and stopped me. Fuck that. <laughs> Let's keep going, right? Uh, so when we when we deal with this, like even okay, even we can use the flat Earth, right? These people are put there, right? For the for me, they're put there for the pure idiot. That eighty percent that we was talking about. No, no, no. Better yet, that's that high ten percent of suggestibility that are easily to be led in a direction. All right. So we saying, you know, there's 10 percent, there's 80 percent in this 10 um, percent again, because, you know, the 5 percent to tell you it's 10 percent, 85 percent and 5 percent, which I really don't disagree with. Right. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep it as both. I'm going to keep it with their saying and I'm going to keep it with, you know, um you know, what what was given through the, because this is all the same science. So um, let me just keep it within those numbers. Basically, it's the 10, that high, you know, 10% of suggestibility because within 
that ten percent on the in our section, five percent of even that ten percent ratio. Remember, there's gonna be that's gonna be split in half. Those who cannot be manipulated, those who will not want to manipulate, and those who will. So that's how I I can agree with the you know the um the five percent due to the fact that remember you have eighty percent that's suggestible, right? And then you have that ten percent up there where it's guaranteed these fucking idiots are gonna do whatever the fuck you <laughs> you, <laughs> you tell them. You know what I mean? So when he asking those questions, anybody jumping into yeah, it's a flat earth and a fear, and because it's in the Bible and it, all of them, those are the same dudes who <laughs> who is highly susceptible to doing some real live stupid shit because they just want to be a part of that that type of thing, right? Even though they know it's wrong. So remember, hypnosis is based on suggestion. Mesmerism is the showmanship. The clothing, the all of that is in the mesmeristic form. That's why we I have to keep clarifying the difference. Hypnotism versus mesmerism. The showmanship. Which one holds the people when in reality they use both? The, oh, I'm smart. I, you know what I mean? I have these privileges. I'm, I'm better than that whole right there. Right? Along with the showmanship, because remember, a lot of the showmanship is supposed to be how a lot of, you know, this class got here. The singers, the actors, all of them, right? So they they can go over here, but then you have the politicians, those who, who learn, you know, the mouth game. They'll tell them, listen, don't talk. Right, they'll tell them, listen, don't talk. You understand what I'm saying? So you like I said, you have the showman and you have the the Sidiri. And so either one you supposed to want because they both are working in the same regard. So we didn't even, like I said, we didn't even get into the religious aspect. I'm just showing you the duality upon your brain. The black and white. The symbols that you see are supposed to put you in this hypnotic trance. That's why I tell people the, the um what's the show? Um force. When you see the, the dude, he always got the vagina sticking out of his neck, but you see his role, you see his character, look at his sister role. Look at the 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 concept. Of the show. When you see in the, the unk. It's the same thing. That way you think you're seeing some dudes putting it on their heads. Because they trying to mesmerize you. And hypnotize you with the, 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 the talk. That's why I mean. I, I think sometimes I deliberately be butchering shit. Just because. Like, listen, you know what I mean? I'm not here for that. I'm not here to put a person on a certain pedestal. Nah. That's why I said, even if I went through it, some parts messing up, embarrassing other parts, holding it down. At the same time, I'm still making sure 
we all understand what was being presented. The cons. One of the the first con which was mentioned was quackery. The medicine man, the 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 snake oil salesman. And then going into how that system works. The shells and, you know, the long game and the short game and the long hypnotism or the short one. The quick greed, lust and all of those things or the build up. While telling you you supposed to be this good person playing on those morals and principles. So as long as you good and you trying to get the quick, the, the quick. There you go. Desperate times, desperate measures. I'm just, you see what I'm saying? So what I'm giving you is this part is really just the hustle, the workshop. I'm showing you three card Monty in real life on things that is not standing at that table. And so many different areas that same hustle is employed through mesmerism. And hypnotism. Showmanship. I tell you, like, I, you know, I used to try to um, manage a rap group. This back in the days. Matter of fact, um, K. Slay um, helped us put it, put them on a, um, his mixtape. And gave us, like, around, I'm going to say, like, 25 tapes. Something like that. But mind you, at this time, those tapes are going for like 20 beans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a slave real dude. You know what I mean? So um, I'm happy I got a chance to um, speak on that. Um, yeah, but what I was saying is now here it is. At shows, I would deliberately stand in the crowd away from the dudes that I'm with and still be singing the song and have my boy, he over at another place doing the same thing, right? Only because you planting inside the list in his head who don't know the words. First, you're giving it to him and it's like, damn, so wait, somebody know, you know this and they see in some, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, um, it's a tactic. It's a psychological tactic. So imagine somebody using that same tactic for negative purposes. And they got the whole squad. I mean, they got people all over the nation, all over the world to help with this game. They got people look like you with hunt with this game because you know what? They rather it be you than them. Cause I ain't even get to the end play game. I just told you some the financial part, how they build up, you know, their money. Look at like think about like companies like any telephone company, right? The big um companies, right? They would put out these bunch of small companies, right? Felonious companies, right? And get them, you know, start these little pyramid schemes with these companies. And then they take that money. The companies disappear. And now you got these other companies, you know, the big names popping up. This is on big scale levels, though. When you see these these seminar dudes and <laughs> just understand that, 
You know what I'm saying? Let's understand. Not all. Not all. Not all. But pay attention to and do research and understand what you're dealing with. You understand what I'm saying? So me, I've always been, like I said, nine years old, sitting on a, on, on a bench, just watching people. Not involved, not in nothing, just just sitting and looking and just hearing conversations, seeing what, you know what I mean? Like the um the consensus was. You know, like this this universal that's why I even even because I didn't know the Bible. I wasn't raised in a religious household. So for me, only reason why I even read it is because everybody else seemed like they knew it. They tell, oh, man, you don't know God. And you, so I'm like, damn. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So here it is. I'm reading something that these motherfuckers ain't read. So then when they talking about something, I'm looking at them like. Where was that at in the Bible? I didn't see none of that. <laughs> And then they relying on the people next to them. You're right. And that's when I realize, oh, these people are all in a spell. They all dazed out. That's why they so easily to be led astray. Because you didn't know the information in this group. So when the next group is telling you half-truths, they can easily pull you over there because you didn't even know none of the fucking truth in the first place. You just was regurgitating what you've been told for so long. And they only telling you the parts that make you go into the spell. I really thought that people, <laughs> you don't do this shit. You know what I mean? So I sat down, read it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like... That's not what that says. You know, that's that's how I came across it. Like, really, like, that's not what that says. Like, what are you talking about? Like, where, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so then when they tried to do the 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 hypnotism, look for here, look this over here. Bro, I read that. That's not what that says. You see what I'm saying? So you can't mesmerize me or better yet hypnotize me with the words like you bouncing around and able to talk me through it. I read that, bro. That's not what that said. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So the only, especially on anything large scale if you see this cold word common sense the common consensus the best thing you could do for yourself in that situation is actually learn what the what they're talking about because if you don't then trust me you're going to be led astray and you're going to think you put on to something, but you're not. Me, I've always been the person you tell me, especially large things, Quran, you know, religious things, you know, um, technical, whether it be, you know, building an app or anything, anything where it's your whole, you know, community and John, like, I, I, I'm going to find out about it. Some things it might not be for me, but okay. I do know, so whenever those subject matters, I'm like, I only know, you know, a bit of that. But you know what I mean? I'm never going to go beyond it because I know it's not, you know, um, within my personal interest. Reading the Bible really doesn't take that long to invest, to invest in. <laughs> Hold on. You see what I'm going you some, right? Hold on. You see this right here? This took me longer to write <laughs> than it took me to read the book.
that's just plain and simple. So why would I be listening to a bunch of people who didn't even read it? They are being hypnotized by somebody jumping around and making a connection for them. They're making the connection. So the person who's doing it is your operator. He's controlling you or she. They telling you, oh, this means this, and you never found out for yourself. Then that person is controlling you. I've always been a type of person. I remember, um, granddaddy used to grade like they, you just like the, um, they, they not, he not, um, he tribe is your bass, right? So, um, he's out in, um, Virginia. So I remember, um, you know, being around like his little students. Now, granddaddy, you know, no, um, Malcolm X and, um, Farrakhan and, um, Elijah Muhammad. Like he's one of those originals. You know what I mean? So when he like, like I'm, I'm around his little, his little minions, you know what I'm saying? And so me, when I get up with granddaddy, um, he, now mind you, he was on, what is this TV show? It was Morton Downey Jr. It was like a talk show when he wound up getting into a fight with the clan members and, you know, he was like one of them dudes. So, like, I'm talking to him, you know, asking him for me that he's like, he said, look, he comes right. <laughs> he's like, basically, like, he goes right to the master for the lessons. He ain't even going to the students. <laughs> like, as I always been like, I'm not going to waste my time trying to figure out what you telling me when I can go to the person who's telling you. <laughs> like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I sitting here listening to you? And I'm literally standing right next to the person that's telling you. Yo, what's good? You understand what I'm saying? And because of me always having that approach, like I said, from, you know, non growing up, I always, you know, um, had a different sense of myself, a different sense of awareness. And my awareness was knowing when I'm hearing some shit and it was bullshit. And so the first thing I would always do is investigate. And so this is how come I'm able to present the information outside of the fact of I always had a love for art. I can draw, I can, you know, shit, I can actually draw people. You know, I started doing that later on out of, a, out of um, you know, passing time, but you know, comic books and shit like that. I draw, you know what I mean? So I write, you know what I'm saying? I, I love music, you know, writing music. So naturally inside me, the, the utensils that they use, my interest is in, while also wanting to understand, you know, why, just why? And then when you find out bullshit, you want to know the truth. And so this is how I was able to understand the system. Nobody actually told me. I just studied, looked. Like every time finding new things, doing research. And so, you know, for me, I look at the Internet and I'll be like, I don't see how people can have this information at the at the fingertips and you know, but then I realize eighty percent are distracted <laughs> with bullshit. And then you have the ten percent on top who can run amok inside that eighty percent because they controlled by that 
5% of the wicked side, not the 5% of the righteous side. You understand what I'm saying? So. And like granddaddy said, he said within the 5% is the 10%. <laughs> That's his words. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, because inside that system is still built on using that manuscript and all of that. And this is what that is. So, like I said, for me, I'm always a student. You know, they go like a, you know, a student of the culture. And some things like hip hop, I don't consider that a culture. I, I consider that a um a utensil of brainwash. That's all that is. That's just a utensil to brainwash the people in a large scale. You have them out, you know these these moons and these, and you perform in these rituals, even though. The rituals are really just you placing certain things, you know, um, beliefs and concepts inside of people. To it, it, it eventually takes hold of itself. You understand what I'm saying? And to it eventually takes hold of itself. Outside of that, it's just what it is. You know? So so this is why I'm, you know, this part of the, you know, I'm just giving y'all, you know, basically the simplest understanding a, a system that was built on lies. Like, because we didn't even really get into the major history yet. I'm just, you know, we took it from uh, 1700s, but we also acknowledge that they acknowledge that this is a system older than that. Like, that's why, you know, calling it, you know, um, mesmerism or was a problem due to the fact that that was. Hold on a minute here. You got to remember. Excuse me. You got to remember. They had a problem. Calling it mesmerism. As a scientific term. Because it would, it was named after somebody, right? And they're like, wait a minute. He didn't come up with this. So, you know, that's why they didn't, they went in the cleanup version and called it hypnotism. You understand what I'm saying? So it was the, the, the clean, you know how like you go from dirty to clean. So all of the, the, the negative aspects, the startups, and this is the, the, the clean up version. So if you, if you, Doing three card money, they're saying this is the psychology of studying, you know, people's um 
gambling habits and their morals and they using all of these type of things. And that's why they can flash these symbols in the police. You understand what I'm saying? Because they already understand. Because they all in on it. So they can do these certain things. But mind you, even at a certain degree, they don't know. Just being in a member, you don't even know that from until they get to a certain degree that they even make sense. So while they putting in that work, they don't know what they doing. They being initiated into something. Because it tells you their membership comes from people just curiosity. They get their numbers from that. They knew that they was of low morals and, and principles due to the fact of. We told you what this was about. How did you wind up in here? <laughs> If they told you it worshiped the devil, they told you it was gay, they told you all of these things, how did you wind up in there? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I never been into it. I never joined the Lord. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, I, I remember, um... The dude I was telling you who um who used to do the music thing with me, Maverick, him and the other dude, which I learned, you know, which actually was introduced to the books and they wind up, you know, I believe, you know, being into that, tried to indoctrinate me, but I never that wasn't my thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you tell me certain things and I'm like, nah, like why would I <laughs> why would why would I be in this group, huh? You know what I'm saying? So, like, for me, I'm, I was always just good. I was the type of person that you told me the righteous side, and I stuck with it. I was like, okay, even if, because remember, righteousness doesn't mean good or bad. It doesn't mean, you know, whether you were good or bad person. That's That's, that's not righteous. Righteous means you do what is right. Remember, Moses killed the man. He was righteous, so righteous that he was able to free his people. If we talking in a religious aspect, right? Or at least the aspect of the story, right? So if righteousness has nothing to do with, you know, um, what you need to do to survive, you understand what I'm saying? And as long as you know that what you were doing was never meant against the people, right? And so here I am presenting to the people this information. I never was in it. I just, keen I, been walking many walks of life, been around many people. You know what I mean? And so... Inside of that, it was able to to understand. Because I feel if I would have stayed in one area, um, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're definitely a target. You know, these dudes is haters. Especially me, I'm the type of dude that knowing information is what always been valued. So I've been in supermax penitentiaries and you understand what I'm saying? So, so I'm still here, you know what I mean? So it's what it is. It's it's just a simple thing of always understanding that it's for the people.
these people have a very, very sinister plan. Not even a um. I'm not even gonna say a plan, because it's uh, you know a plan means something that you like you know haven't done yet. I'm talking about the they they have a very ill, wicked system. You know what I mean? A very ill, wicked system. A system that promotes two sides. King James came out with two Bibles. A satanic and a holy Bible. When I say the king wants his his due, he don't care on which side. Because both of them is to push the same agenda. If they want that land, after a certain while, they're going to cause the chaos and all of the things, send in the, um, the outlaws. And then when it's time, send in the government to clean up the outlaws. And after they do that, all things get lost. And they wind up owning it all. The government, I mean. Which is, <laughs> we're going to get into all of that. You understand what I'm saying? And then from that, you understand that, damn, this is like a, a, a test. A test to see how to rule the people. God is watching. You see the G's everywhere. They right there to report back. Oh, wait, they doing something over here. They getting money over there. <laughs> you wouldn't believe that, right? You wouldn't believe that these uh, undercover government agents. Right? You wouldn't believe that, right? That's why they could flash signs and symbols and get away. Right, probably paid paid for the college tuitions <laughs> through the blood, sweat, and tears of other people around them. Then they go join Greek fraternities. Right, then I guess that's when they allowed to wear the um the symbols, right? <laughs> Well, think about the Greeks. We're going to get into this. Man, when we get into all of this, you're going to understand. You're going to be like, damn, this is some crazy, crazy shit. I told you how the gangs, I told you, go to my videos. I showed you the initiations um, of the hypnotism through just the standing in a certain way and certain codes and all of this stuff is to put you in a uh, hypnotic trance because those all came with doctrine documents you see those came with rules and regulations so that's when you point in the hypnotism remember what we said so once you even handed any of those you automatically know you have been indoctrinated and hypnotized into that system. I've been pointing this out to you. I've been showing you this system is a setup. You involving yourself in things that is designed to either be you or used as a utensil, go sell the drugs, you know, um, snowfall. Now, you know, I look at um, 
you you look at Snowfall and you remember the part when he says, you know, he, his crew was like the criminals. Like, they, yeah, we criminals. You criminal now, right? You know that, um, you know, you got Hoover criminals. Like, they not Bloods or Crips. They just they own thing. So I always, you know, say is that, um, where what's the name is from? You know his um, that's his hood, his whole thing that he started up, and now if so right. And we remember all through snowfall and all of that. We seen the change, this M U um M K Ultra, the drugs being put out there, the 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 colleges inventing the crack in the first place back with the mad scientists. Back to the mad scientists. So we gonna, you gonna have to keep thinking, hmm, when we talk about the, 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 um, the body snatches, you know, when they was going in there taking, you know, the bodies up in Pennsylvania, you know, going into the graveyards, you know, this is where you get ghosts from. Cause they was going into the graveyards at night and, and stealing the bodies. And when they got caught, you know, and then the then the um the doctor who was actually saying he facilitated smooth talked his way out of it. Just understand, I'm not saying this stuff just to say it. It's like not as a mad scientist, you know, everything is gonna come. You know what I mean? Nothing is going to be left unsaid. Everything will be. That's why Einstein, he even said, um, watch by what he said. Like, he, what year he said, but he said by this year, they going to, something that he was saying, they going to use and, and, and discover. He said, though, this, by this time, they're going to discover what he was saying. He was basically, and he also said that he regretted, you know, um, things that he said because he realized that they was going to use these things for their advantage later. So Einstein always made sure he tried to get in front of all of the bullshit they had set up, even under his name. Listen to Einstein, he makes sure he steps in front of a lot of things. Like, he, you listen to him, and you understand this message that I'm giving you, understand. Like, he was giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. I told you the concept is the hypnotism comes from the words. The, the, the point in getting you folk. That's why I says you can hypnotize yourself at home by yourself. You can write certain things and suggest to yourself into its manifested into a reality. And if you are subjective to even hypnotizing yourself, then somebody else is easily to hypnotize you as well. You see? So in that is how you always stay on point. Study, research, even the stuff I'm telling you, if this stuff makes sense, don't just take me on it. Go read, you know, the same stuff. Go further. Go, go, you know what I mean? And if you don't come to the same conclusion that I come to, I would be more than welcome for somebody to show me where my error was. That's real spill.
I'd be more than welcome for somebody to come and show me where my error was. But the things that I got, like I said, I don't just profess it. I'm literally showing you the trail. So it's not like, oh, I make no, I'm showing you the trail. Like, this is not me. Click right here. You go, you follow the trail and you tell me what you get. And like I said, these are certain parts. There are other parts where we gonna go into these these, these books and I'm going to show you their words. And then I'm going to show you those scripts that they handed out within the communities. I'm going to show you those organizations, literature, and you're going to tell me, do they not match the plan? Because they give out certain ones to, to move the people. That's how come the words get lost. So say you got like 18 books and then these is the different ways that you going to approach and attack the people. So after you use this, right, and you done moved over to this, how do the people call you on it? I'm showing you how. Because I'm not telling you what they did. And I'm not just telling you what they did in the past. I'm telling you how it's being done now. And I'm showing you how they setting you up for it in the future. This is totally different from any other way anybody else has been presenting this so-called revealing it to you. They're not revealing nothing. All they doing is either trying to get their little two cents in it or actually aiding and abetting with your confusion, most likely based on their confusion. And at times I've, I've been confused and said certain things and then I got to realize, oh, wait a minute, I got to um readdress that. Like I said, I got to readdress um, something. I remember somebody asking me inside the comments. And so I'm, I know which comment it is. So I'm a, when I do the what's the name, I'm going to actually tag them in it, you know. And I actually, in a way, I think I, I um, half of it, I know I deliberately said it the way I said it, even though I knew it was another avenue, but the thing is, I wasn't um a hundred percent sure, and true I I put certain connections together, and it all, you know what I mean? Because I knew it from one side, I didn't know it from that side. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, when when it's addressed, it'll be addressed. We got like four minutes, and I'm about to be up out of here, but. Um, like I said, I hope you caught up understanding what a shrill is, you know, a shill, you know, understanding, you know, the different cons, understanding how from those cons, the history of this, you know, there's, you know, from the carnies or, or even, you know, to a small town in Italy somewhere, you know, like the quack in this system, this hustle traveled out of that into what you see today as you know psychotherapy and all of those which are really hypnotism that's the reason why when you see shows like um what's that joint um, Sopranos, with you see the therapist, and it's the woman, and she's in. You know, we're gonna get into all of that. We're gonna get into, you know, the vagina symbol. Like I said, most of this stuff, you go through my videos, and those are all there, so this part can flow smooth. Because I already gave you the tools. 
Now I'm showing you how those tools are used. This is how come we're in the workshop now. Already gave you the tools. Already showed you how they set these people up. And they don't even know most of the time. Now I'm showing you how they use it. Through a system of hypnotism and mesmerism. If you see what I'm saying now. How those people who be so hypnotized and mesmerized are so easily controlled that they control others. And then you have the group that goes in there and that controls the the 10 in the 80. So they are manipulating the the masses those small numbers are manipulating the masses because it is more easier to attract negativity right the greed the loss i told you this is how they get away with the cons working on yours that's how they get you to get into the lodge working on yours oh wow i can get into that i they're relying on you to jump up and want to have interest in that instead of just studying, sitting back from the outside and learning. Motherfuckers just always want to go run and, and find out. Nah, sometimes you got to let other people find out. A wise man, I can sit and let you find out those things. But I know I had to go into all of these different areas that other people should be wise enough to just get from me to learn. They don't have to wind up in supermax penitentiaries. And you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you be wise enough to get that part from me. You know what I mean? So... Um, it's what it is. You know, I'm giving you it. I hope you utilize it. We about to be up out of here. You know what I mean? Y'all have a good one. We'll be catching back up. But tomorrow I'm going to shoot the breeze again. But on Monday we'll get back into, you know, more into this workshop. Peace, people.